Today we're going to be making this Ray Dunn inspired pet dish. So let's get to it. So you're going to start off with a natural modeling clay from the dollar store. I used my trusty Cricut tools for this. Now you're going to rip open that package. I used only one for this project. I did use two to make a different bowl that I have. And you're just going to fold it in half and try to make the best looking circle that you possibly can from it. Now you're going to want to get some parchment paper. I didn't do this at first and it did make it pretty difficult to take the bowl off of the table without deforming it. Start to work from the middle, pressing down, working outwards to start to make the bowl shape. As you can see, it was a bit of a struggle for me to try to pull the clay off of the table without the parchment paper. Try to make the edges of the bowl as even as possible. We'll be using some tools to scrape down the edges to make things even when it's all dry, but this process makes that a little bit easier. We're going to be smoothing at the edges with some water, so you don't need to be too picky at this point. You just need to get that basic bowl shape. And we're done. So here I transferred it to some wax paper. Bad idea. You're going to want to work with the parchment paper only. And get a little bowl of water to work with. Try to smooth out the edges as best as possible. Remember, we are going for that Ray Dunn look, so it's not perfection. I made three different sizes of these for my three cats, and I'm just making this one for my friend's new cat. Just keep smoothing. You're going to want to make sure when you're doing this that the height of the bowl is the same all around. Once again, we will be evening out the edges of the bowl when it's dry, so don't be too concerned. You want to make sure that the width and the bottom of the bowl is a decent thickness. This is air dry clay. It's not baking clay, so it is fragile. And take my word for it, don't put it in the oven at a low temperature, it will crack. Be patient and let it air dry. As the clay starts to harden, you're going to want to dip your finger in the water just to help smooth out any edges and get rid of any fingerprints along the way. If you have long nails, it can be a bit challenging to smooth out any edges as your nails will tend to carve into the clay. Sometimes using a pair of disposable gloves can help with this. Now I wrote down the letters on a piece of paper so I had a reference to go off of before I started carving into the clay. I also let the clay sit for about a half an hour before I started to carve into it. You can also just skip the whole carving process and paint on it when it's dry if that's what you prefer. Now I used a carving tool to carve in the letters for this one, but for the first ones I did, I just used a toothpick and it worked fine. You just wanna lightly press into the clay. You don't wanna go too deep in. And if you mess up, just use the water to smooth it out. 
24 hours later and it is all dry I'm just gonna take the same tool and clean up all the edges So here's where we're going to smooth out any lumps and bumps. I have my little Cricut spatula. Um, I did use a pair of scissors when I did my first one, so anything that'll scrape will work. So now we're finished smoothing out the outside, so we're going to smooth the top of it now. Once again, you're just getting rid of any lumps and bumps over the tops of the edges so everything looks all smooth and even. I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist, so I was being a bit picky with this. I'm sure your cat or dog isn't going to care, but Instagram does, so I took my time. When I carved the letters into the bowl, I made sure to carve them at the lowest height of the bowl so that when I was evening out the top, I wouldn't be carving into any letters. Now remember, this isn't a bowl you're going to be washing or putting in the dishwasher. Just kind of wiping it out with a wet paper towel, dry food only, not really meant for wet food. Now everything is dry and smooth. I chose this hot pink color to paint the inside. Now you're going to want to do two to three coats on the inside. Uh, if you chose a color like I did, more like five or six before it actually starts to show up. Super hot pink. I used this white paint from the dollar store and painted the outsides and the tops of the edges, giving it three coats. Now that it's all dry, it's time to paint the letters. I used this black paint from the dollar store and my Cricut tool to paint with. It was a bit of a lengthy process trying to get into the carving, avoiding the edges. So once again, if you prefer to skip the whole carving and just paint on, go for it. If you go outside the lines, you can always touch up with a little bit of white paint. I used a matte Mod Podge for the first coat and a glossy Mod Podge for the second coat.
I let the bowls sit for a couple days just to let them set. And here we are all finished. Please like, follow, and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any tips for this video or any ideas for my next videos, and turn on the notification bell for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching!